Well, we have two locations. 890 Broadway, which is an historic arts building, is really a private space. It's for creation. The move to 280 Broadway just brought all kinds of possibility for public performance, for public manifestation of classes, training, community action, social justice, digital technology. We have a highly curated performance series that is essentially directed by Ben Pryor. At the same time, we have other programs that are curated by our company, are curated by outside choreographers, outside artists, panels. So we try to be as porous as possible in presenting and have sort of multiple points of entry for artists. Well, we've always had a kind of entrepreneurial mission that also touched on social justice themes. So way back in 1991 when we incorporated, yes, we were going to create dance for concert and stage, but we were also going to bring the possibility of movement where it would not otherwise exist, to shelters, to schools, to outdoor settings, to non-traditional audiences. We're going to be having almost 100 classes offered per week in so many different genres, whether it's contemporary forms technique class, Simonson that is like an anatomically aware practice, somatics, and we also have partnerships with Joyce who's going to be back there um, doing master classes once a month, the Lamone Foundation and school as well. You learn from every kind of style of dance. The variety is really nice. I think it has the most high quality contemporary training right now. Everyone comes to class with like a different agenda. Like, I just want to move. I want to feel my heartbeat. I love this teacher. It offers you potential to watch so many different people rehearse and take class and see what I really enjoy about someone's dancing and how I want to implement that into my own work. The Give Me vibe is extremely inviting. You're free to like walk around here and take in the atmosphere with all the other dancers and you instantly feel like you're at home. That culture really started at 890 Broadway and there was such a sense of care and respect for the art form and a sense of sharing and rigor. It really was about hard work and development and growth. It's always like getting to know new people, um, getting to know the teachers, their style, and just becoming a community. We have been involved taking classes from the beginning of that new space, so we feel very connected to it as part of our growth technically as movers, and also building a space for us to make work in New York City. Sometimes you see people here, they're here all day. They take class in the morning, they rehearse here, uh, and then they you know, go to performances at night. And when you perform or you see a show in the theater, you have that sense of support from the community. I was looking to move to New York to be a part of a larger dance community. And when I came into Give Me, into 890 or 280, I, I immediately felt like I was meeting people constantly. Give Me Dance is extremely special to me because she's just brought this community together in a way that was really lacking. It's starting to have a life of its own. People are coming to us with ideas. People are feeling like this is their canvas, this is their platform. Uh, they, can, they can make it happen here. I also really want them to be a symbol of success to the dance field. We are empowered as artists to create the field that we want to be part of. Community. 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 There's a lot of care in these walls.